Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss on surrogate variables or surrogate splits. Okay, one of the very important concept related to decision tree. So what is that? Let me discuss. So surrogate nothing but simply means representative. And you can think like this way during university days or our college life, many students might have done this. That is proxy, right? Like for example, you might not be interested to attend a particular class, then you are telling your friend to give attendance on behalf of you, right? So what is actually happening there? That is that particular friend is acting like representative of you as if you attended the class and then he or she is giving attendance on your behalf, okay? That is what work you should be doing, that friend is doing as if you are there, right? That is nothing but representative concept, right? Similarly, here also in DC entry, that concept is there. Let us try to understand how. Okay. So, as you know, in DC entry, in each stage, we basically select one particular feature among a set of input feature and we choose a particular threshold or a particular condition based on which from a particular parent node, we basically create two different child nodes. Okay. And primary focus always is make kind of homogeneous bucket in the child side okay that is if you are working on classification then the two child nodes should be kind of pure if you are working with regression use case in this entry then the child node should have less mean square error okay error should be reduced right so anyway in the central part of the decision entry always the splits depend on a particular variable that's what is written here when a split is made it depends on a particular variable or a particular input feature okay now the problem comes, what if the variable is missing for a particular row? Then how to understand to which child node I will be sending that particular row? Okay, that is the problem, right? Like for example, if you consider this particular data, okay? So if you consider this data, Y is basically our output uh, feature, okay? Which are 1 and 0, binary classification type, weight is basically 1 continuous variable and height is another continuous variable. By primary inspection of the data itself, we can say that we can put a threshold criteria on weight. That is, if weight is greater than or equal to 6, then we are seeing the class is coming as 1. And if weight is less than 6, then the class is coming as 0. For height, we cannot conclude like the same because here if you see that if height is greater than or equal to 5, then the y value is coming as 1. But if height is less than 5, it is not always coming as 0. Like for example, here actually height is 6. Okay. Then according to height, if you try to split, it should be mapping y as 1. But it is not happening, right? So height cannot be a good criteria. Weight is becoming a very good column at this particular stage of time that we will be making a splitting criteria based on weight feature. Okay. That is weight is obviously the best variable to split on at least with respect to this context from the manual inspection itself we can say. However, suppose you have kept the weight condition that is if weight is greater than equal to 6 then only y equal to 1. If weight is less than 6 then y equal to 0. But if you consider this particular row here weight is na that is weight itself is null. Now, in the condition, what you have kept, weight is greater than or equal to 6 or less than 6. If greater than or equal to 6, put in a particular bucket. If weight is less than 6, then put another bucket. But to which bucket you will be sending this particular data? It is not easy for you, right? Because here, weight is not a number. Then what to do? That's where this surrogate variable or surrogate split comes into picture, okay? So obviously one thing you might say I will be filling this particular null value with some uh, techniques like mean or median whatever. Yeah, that you can do. But in decision entry, this kind of null value situations can be handled automatically. What decision entry do internally? That is it basically try to find out another feature which is highly similar with the feature based on which we are splitting the parent node. Okay, like for example, if you consider this height column, it is highly correlated with weight column, right? See, weight is 10, height is 10, weight is 9, height is 9, weight is 8, height is 8, weight is 7, height is 7, weight is 6, height is 5. That is not exactly correlation one, but highly similar at least, right? That time, as weight column is null, then decision tree will try to consider the height column value as weight column value because weight and height are almost similar, right? So height column value is 4, 
so it will be thinking okay here the fourth value is there and as the value is 4 so it is less, less than 6 so it will be going to y equal to 0 class okay that way basically what is happening that is height column is coming as a representative or surrogate column with respect to weight okay so that's what is written here it is however when weight is missing is split on height column as if that height column itself is weight column we can utilize that and proceed with our algorithm okay that itself is nothing but surrogate variable or surrogate split here height is basically acting like surrogate variable for weight column right that's the concept okay so i hope you understood this in matlab the implementation is very simple i'll be providing the documentation link and what to do if you want to implement this kind of automatic null value handling feature using surrogate variable or surrogate split in matlab what to do i'll be providing also in the description box but just remember this particular concept because this is very important with respect to interview process and if you enjoyed this particular video then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you